By now, you've undoubtedly heard that the CDC has updated their mask guidance for people who have received vaccinations. Wiser and more educated people than I have all the things to say about that. And I'm not even going to analyze whether or not it was a good idea to decide to make that change when they did. My focus right now is solely to address you, the weeaboos who are about to go back to conventions, because I'm one of those. I'm going back to a convention because I have a job to do at ColossalCon in June. And while ColossalCon has a health and safety protocol list that includes mandatory masks throughout the convention center, that may not be true of other cons going forward with these changes. So I wanted to take a few minutes to address you on the issue. I know that this past year plus has sucked. I know that you miss conventions. I know that you're probably, by and large, kind of tired of all the safety protocols. I think for the most part, you guys follow them though, and that's why I'm so proud of you. But I'm also concerned that the CDC's new guidance might make you overly optimistic about certain aspects about how we're going to, you know, carry things on moving forward. Because at the end of the day, one of the biggest problems with this change is that it essentially gives an out for people who aren't vaccinated, either by choice, or because they haven't had time, or whatever the reason might be. And whether it's state-level efforts to prevent this, or because certain businesses aren't able to, or because it's impractical, or because they just don't want to, vaccine verification may just not be something that can happen at cons. Which brings me to my main point. It's not that I don't trust you, it's that you can't be trusted. You know that's true. Anyone who's been to a convention within the past 20 years knows about this issue. We can barely get you to follow the hygiene guidelines that some cons squirrel away in their rules, but never really enforce in any active way. And you know, even though I think people who don't want to get the vaccine and don't have a good reason not to are dumb, I still don't want you to die. So even though I am very confident that there is not a great risk to me, myself, personally, by being around other vaccinated people without a mask indoors, I still plan to be covering my face for quite a while to come, I expect. There's a bunch of reasons to keep doing it. You provide community reinforcement, like permission, for people to keep wearing masks when you do it in a group. I don't know about the rest of you, but I haven't had a cold or other type of infection in over a year now, and quite frankly, I'm happy to continue with that trend. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I still, there's just a part of me that doesn't understand how there is such a significant group of resistance in the weeb community about wearing masks. Like the rave rats and the scene queens haven't been wearing them for months, if not years. And don't even get me started about the Ahago uh, boys out there, I see you guys. Like Japanese culture can inspire you to want to be a shonen protagonist, but not to wear a mask when there's a sickness involved. We know from decades of experience that weebs aren't good at hygiene, that you don't like to follow the rules, and that you come to a con while sick, sometimes when you don't know it, plenty of times when you do. And, you know, for me personally, I would honestly not be that upset if culturally we decided to just wear masks as the norm for quite a while, if not forever. I am perfectly content to avoid free sneezing on people for the rest of my life. That's what I'm calling it when people go maskless now. You can quote me. I made that term. So for those of you who were like too long, didn't watch the whole video, go to the con and wear your fucking mask.